first thing I do have to do is get the carrots ready. So what we have this is, have you ever seen one of these? This is a commercial grade slicer. It's called a kitchen cutter. And it makes prep time go way, way down. Yeah. And it's really awesome. Restaurants, uh, delis, gro grocery stores really like these because they're so simple to use. They're stainless steel, easy to clean. And there's a lifetime warranty on the motor. I know the jokes are bad. But the food is good. Yeah, yeah. It has, <laughs> it has three different speeds. Slow, medium, and supersonic. Now it's spitting out of the bullet very too fast. <laughs> is anybody worried about my fingers? Anna has to look at her mom. Mom, should I be worried about his fingers? <laughs> no, this is super, super safe. This is actually how you get the vegetables out. And you just don't want to put your fingers all the way down into the popper and keep turning. You know what we call that, Anna? Finger food. Shot salad. Hamburger. Oh, I like that look. <laughs> this young lady over here once sent me a picture of herself rolling her eyes at me. I'm at work. It was just horrible. It's like, I'm in so much trouble. She's not even a teenager yet. All right. All of these cones, there's four of them, are stainless steel and dishwasher safe. Today your dishwasher's name is Dan, and they're really easy to clean. The machine actually comes in two pieces. And this can go in the dishwasher too. And the bottom is a suction cup up there. You just move this little lever and you have 600 foot pounds of pressure keeping it on the counter for you. I could probably hang on that. Dishwasher safe. How cool is that? And that is just the carrots. Now, what makes waterless cookware waterless is one, it's really, really thick. So it's 110 gauge stainless steel. It's also got this double rim here that fits the lid perfectly. And I'll get into how that works in just a second. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to put some carrots in here and when they get up to 180 degrees they're going to release water vapor into the pan and because the lid fits so perfectly the water vapor can't get out and that is going to form a seal and that seal is what's going to allow us to cook without water because we're cooking without water we have room in the pan for other vegetables Anna do you like broccoli no, does mom like broccoli? Okay, broccoli is the number one vegetable for fighting breast cancer. Guys, do not let the name fool you. Breast cancer hits us just as much as it hits women. But if you don't like broccoli, there's a solution. I'm gonna put some zucchini in here and it has the same deep dark green color as broccoli. And that same deep dark color means it's gonna have a lot of the same nutrients, okay? So there's your zucchini. If you don't like your broccoli, get some zucchini. And now I have some yellow squash. Do you know why they call it yellow squash? Because it's yellow. If I still had my pins, I would give you one just for answering that. There you go. Some yellow squash. Now let's get some red cabbage in here as well. Cabbage is the number one vet red cabbage is the number one vegetable for fighting prostate cancer. It's also high in fiber, so that's really good for you. And you know what? I'm gonna try to hold on to summer just a little bit longer. So I'm gonna add some corn in there. You like corn on the cob? No. Mom likes corn. Ah. Yeah, we like corn on the cob in our family too. Now, I need to add some red into this. There are two colors that if you put them together, it triggers your hunger reflex and makes you want to eat more. You know what those two colors are? Come on. No? Red and what? That is the second most answer I get. But if you think about it on your way home, check out all the signs of all the companies who have figured out that when you put red and yellow next to each other, it triggers your hunger reflex. It makes you want to eat. Yeah, they're not trying to get you in there to the store with the flavor of their food, that's for sure. Uh, or the nutrition for that state. So. Look at this. How wonderful is that? You like that? And the best part is when I have six kids at home, they can each take the vegetables that they want and not have to worry about the ones they don't. If you were making this at home, what would be the next thing you'd have to add? Water. And it doesn't matter if you add a little bit of water or if you add a whole lot of water. Water is a universal dissolver. It's a universal solvent. They actually use it in industries in order for that solvent property to take effect. It dissolves it whenever it touches. So that water's been touching those carrots for how long? 10 or 15 seconds? What's already happened to the water? 
It's orange. What do you think that is? Carrot juice. That's not just carrot juice. That's your vitamins. That's your minerals. That's your beta carotene. Dad, a new, get a new fork. No, need get a new fork. Here you go, sweetheart. Yeah, that's all the flavor. That's all the reasons you would have carrots in the first place. After 15 seconds of touching the water, it's already in there. Imagine how much of those nutrients would get into the water if we added heat and 15 more minutes. Let's get, I said this is gonna be waterless cookware, so would you agree that right about now there's about as much water on there as if I rinsed my vegetables clean? All right, so let's do this. Hannah, do you wanna be a guest chef? Sure, awesome, what that means is when you start to see steam come out of here, water vapor come out of there, you tell me, and I will turn the heat off at that point. Now, I'm gonna do boiled carrots too so that you can taste the difference between the two. How's it going, guy? What's your name? Austin, I'm gonna do a taste test. Do you wanna taste the difference between the cooked carrots and the water, boiled carrots and the waterless cooker? Awesome. So just to let you know that I'm not doing a demonstration between a $30 Walmart pan and our stuff. This is from Williams-Sonoma. It's all bled. It's 100% stainless steel. It'll last forever. It's just not waterless. So they need water when you boil carrots in their pan. I will give them the added benefit of the vitamins and minerals from our carrots. I'm going to put these both on medium. This is on medium high. Ours is on medium low. And Anna, guest chef, you're going to tell me when that steams, right? Awesome. What that means is if anything burns, it's Anna's fault. <laughs> no pressure, sweetie. All right, the first cone was to do the thin slices. The second cone we call the potato chip cone. Any guesses to why we call it the potato chip cone? What do those look like? Yeah. If you were to take a potato or a sweet potato and run it through this machine and then take the slices and put them on your... Uh, cookie sheet, 375 for 10 minutes. You can have all the fat-free potato chips that you want all day long and not worry about what the companies put on them to make it so you can't just eat one. How cool would that be? You like that idea? Yeah. It takes about 10 minutes or you can use vegetables. You can make yourself vegetable chips. It's really healthy and really fun and it takes no time at all. All right, that one's clean. Do you like coleslaw? You like coleslaw? Mm -hmm. Do you make your own? Not, 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 a lot. not a lot. And that's what, coleslaw is one of those things that takes a little longer. Yeah. But cabbage is only 30 cent, 39 cents a pound at the grocery store. And coleslaw is $1.99 a pound. And all they did was take a 17 year old and this tool, or one like it, and do a little return on investment. So all you have to do is take that 39 cents a pound coleslaw, I'm sorry, cabbage, Take it down to the last couple layers where other people have touched it, where the pesticides are, mm -hmm. and just toss that, and then grab yourself some red cabbage. It's about twice the price, 79 cents a pound, but there's a lot more vitamins and minerals in it. Uh, you were kids to cost, right? Awesome. So put that in there, and now look how fast you can make coleslaw if you have the right tools. Is this machine looking really nice? It is a very nice tool to have at home. My wife said if this is the only thing we got out of Kitchen Craft, she would be a very happy camper. And she makes a lot more now at the home because of this tool. Do you like celery? No? Does mom like celery? Is it because of the dental floss that comes with it free of charge? Okay, it, it's really good for you. It's a natural anti-inflammatory and it uh, tastes salty but it's not high in sodium. So what you do is where you don't want to put your fingers, you do want to put the string side of the celery and let the machine take all those strings off. Now you can have all the celery you want with no strings attached. How cool is that? And you have a little ribbon for Vegetable Awareness Month. That's June. And celery is also a natural anti-inflammatory, so if you know anybody with uh, arthritis or any uh, joint issues, really good thing to have. Do you like onions? Onions are one of my favorite things. I like just about everything, but I don't know, ice cream and pancakes. The only thing I don't like about onions, and you can tell me if you agree with this, crying when you're prepping. Is it steaming? Is that what you're saying? Not sure. Okay, we'll wait then. The part of the onion that makes you cry is those last two layers. So, if you treat this just like you did, how's it going? Just like you did the uh, celery, the coleslaw. 
let the machine take it down to the last two layers, and you can have all the onions you need for your soups and your stews and your hot dogs and hamburgers, brats and burgers with no more tears. How cool is that? Yeah. Is this machine worth its weight in gold? How cool is that? Would you like one for free? Yeah, that's more of a question for you. Yeah, I will give one away at the end of the show. So, if you want to stick around for that. Last but not least, who likes cheese? Yeah. Yeah, Austin's like, do the cheese. I didn't bring any cheese. Sorry. But I want to show you this cone that can take a block of cheese and cut it down to shredded cheese in about 50, 39 seconds. Check this out. You can do the same thing with a block of cheese. Have you ever bought the pre-shredded cheese at the store? Did you know that it's not just one ingredient on that? If you buy the block of cheese, it just says sharp cheddar. If you buy the pre-shredded, it'll say sharp cheddar cheese and granulated cellulose product. Do you know what that is? Sawdust. They take sawdust and they put it through a chemical bath, so it's just granulated cellulose product. Since the 1970s, they've been using it to make cheese not turn back into a block. It's 5 to 10%. You think so? Okay, let's go. Ready? If it spins, it's ready. And it spins. And what that means, when I take it off the heat, it stops spinning. That means is the water vapor was trying to get out. As soon as it hit the cold water, in the cold air, it turned back into water and formed a seal. When I take it off the heat, it sucks the lid down, and now it, it's kind of like a mini pressure cooker right on your stove. So both of these have to cook for five. To, I'm sorry, for 12 minutes total. But mine only has to cook for five minutes on the heat, and it cooks the rest of the time way over here. Do you have gas or electric at home? Yeah. If you have gas, you just turn it off. If you have induction or uh, electric like we have here, you actually want to remove it from that burner and put it on another. So, guys, I just made an eight vegetable medley in four minutes. How cool is that? Right? And this is actually healthier for you than the honeymoon salad. Do you know what the honeymoon salad is? This joke's just for the adults. <laughs> Lettuce alone? No dressing? Yeah. yeah it should read grown, but... Uh, I take what they give me. All right, let's put them over here and clean up my counter. Do you have a big lawn? Not big enough for a riding lawn or anything? No. No, not heavy. Do you have a weed whacker? No. Sure. How many months out of the year do we take care of our lawns living this far north? Four, five, five, six, depending on the winter, yeah. 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 <laughs> How many months out of the year do we cook? Where do we really need the time-saving, money-saving devices? In the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. That's just what we're pointing out. Um, the guys all have their riding lawnmowers, their edge trimmers. We need our kitchen cutters in our kitchen to help make preparing the food a whole lot faster, a whole lot easier. What's the most expensive room in the house to remodel? Probably the kitchen. Yeah, we go to people's homes and do these exact same demos, and they have beautiful homes, kitchen remodels, with five to seven thousand uh, dollar countertops and seven to nine thousand dollar floors. Your cabinets can cost twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars by themselves, whatever. And then we ask them, hey, we want to do a demonstration between your cookware and our cookware. Could you get out your cookware? And this is invariably what we get when we ask them to break out their pans. Do you recognize any of my toys? Yeah? I had a lady say, did you stop at my house before you started your show? The lady next to her said, I wish my cookware looked that good. We start out with the cast iron. Nothing really wrong with this pan. We can just do a little better. It's not as sanitary as the rest of them. You can't really clean it because it'll rust. Uh, so what you do is you season it instead. You put it on the heat. You get it really hot. Get the pores wide open. You put oil in it. And you do that a couple of times. However, if you're using your mom's pan from the 1960s and 70s, the seasoning she put on this side is now coming out the outside. That's how porous this is. And if you're not careful, tomorrow's pancakes could taste like tonight's taco. 
So let's put this over here. And what most people do when they want to go better is they go get themselves one of those non-sticks. There's a couple problems with this. Well, first of all, do you remember what this one's called? Teflon? Oh, Or like we like to call it Teflon. Finally illegal in the United States. It took 11, 10 years. We found out 11 years ago that it causes cancer. And only last year they made it illegal. Right? And all they did was they found other things that they can spray on aluminum. This is sprayed on, this is painted on, this is a, a ceramic. And but the problem with that is no matter what you're spraying on or, or painting on, if it's meant to be non-stick, eventually it's not even going to stick to the aluminum, right? And then you're going to scratch on it and all of a sudden it's not non-stick anymore. And then what do you end up going and doing? Replacing it. So Consumer Reports came up with this number for us. The average family of four spends $700 on $20 Walmart pants. So we can do better than that, but it's not just a, a money problem, there's also a health problem. Have you ever heard of, the, do you know of any of the problems associated with cooking on aluminum? Or aluminum in general? Not really? Um, there have been a couple that they found out. The first is Alzheimer's dementia, Parkinson's, three different internal cancers. I have normal everyday tap water. Tap water. I love the way you roll your eyes. You close your eyes as you do it. Um, normal everyday tap, tap water and a scotch bright pad. And I just want to show you the problem with cooking on aluminum. Have you ever heard of metal leaching? Anytime you heat up metal, whatever medium's touching the metal, the metal gets into that medium. So have you ever had your pans and pots uh, uh, they get a little tarnished, mm -hmm. and then you make yourself a spaghetti sauce or an apple sauce, anything acidic, and the tarnish just disappears. Where did the tarnish go? In the food. Where does the food go? And to you, right. Now, I'm not a doctor, not by any stretch of the imagination, but do your own research. They have found out that people with Alzheimer's have 8 to 20 times more aluminum oxide in their blood and in their brains than you and me. In case you're thirsty, I'll just get this right over here. There are 13 countries that it's illegal to actually sell aluminum cookware in. America's not one of them. In America, 90% of the pans are aluminum. It cooks evenly, it cooks, it heats evenly, it heats quickly, so they like that, but there's problems. We found out in the 1950s that dogs and cats, when they finish eating, they lick their bowls. And they were ending up with throat cancer and tongue cancer. So if you go to the pet store today, you cannot, by law, get an aluminum dog dish. They all have to be made out of stainless steel or plastic. Really, the only thing you want touching your food is stainless steel. And I would like to argue that the only thing you really want touching your food is 110 gauge T3 or surgical grade stainless steel. That made you jump. Is that a little better quality sound than the other one? Yeah. Now, do you know one of the problems with cooking with stainless steel? A lot of people don't like it uh, look at hot spots or it's not as non-stick as other materials. We made our pans so well that it is non-stick. I want to demonstrate that for you with an egg. The problem with the egg is that it doesn't have any fat in it. It's 100% protein. When you're cooking with our cookware, you don't have to use fat, lard, grease, meat, uh, oil with meats. You don't have to use water with vegetables. The fat that's in the meat will make it non-stick. But the egg doesn't give away its fat because it's in the yolk. The protein, the, the whites all made of protein. So it's the only thing that I have to do a little bit of cheating. I'm gonna use olive oil here. I use butter at home. Or I cook the bacon first. I cook it in that. So I put a little bit of oil, or olive oil, in the pan. And let's find out just how non-stick stainless steel can be when it's made the right way. What do I mean by the right way? Well, Here's how our pans are made. Just like what you see here, we have a magnetic steel in the middle. That's gonna work like your cast iron. It's a really good insulator, and it holds the heat very well. One of our guys, when he gets done cooking the vegetables, instead of just putting it right here, he actually lets them cook the rest of the way in our refrigerator. It insulates that well. It still cooks the vegetables. And then we wrap that in three layers of aluminum, because aluminum does heat evenly and quickly, and we wanna get that heat to the magnetic steel layer. 
but you don't want aluminum touching your food ever at all. So we wrap that in three more layers of T304 surgical grade stainless steel. That's the same stainless steel that they make your stints out of, that your different places made out of. Hypoallergenic, nobody's going to have a problem with T304 stainless steel. The best part is our cookware is so well made that our, what do you think our warranty is for cookware is that well made? Lifetime? Let's go a little better than lifetime. Two lifetimes. I'll go even a little better than that. How about as long as it's in your family? The average household cooks 50,000 meals in their lifetime, and then when you're done with it, she'll cook 50,000 meals, and when you're done with it, your kids can cook their 50,000. As long as it's in your family, our cookware is going to retain its warranty. We call it an heirloom warranty. How wonderful is that? And the reason we can do that is because our cookware from the time that we pour is pulled out of the ground to the time the cans are delivered to your door is 100% made in America. How cool is that? That's really important to me. I hope it's important to you. Because if the jobs aren't in America, America's not gonna be America. So let's see how non-stick that is. Whoa, wow, that almost slipped right out. How's that for non-stick? Austin, what do you think? that not sticking up for you? All right, let's see if I can do it, guys. Ready? Whoa! Hey! Yeah, that's how easy making an egg is at home. Now, they don't let me serve the eggs to the public, I'm sorry, but look how non-stick that is. Now, this is how easy it is to clean. All of our pots and pans are dishwasher safe. The handles and knobs are safe in the oven up to 400 degrees. And if you happen to put them in the oven, forget that they're there and put it on uh, self-clean and melt them right off. That's when the warranty kicks in. Now, if Anna tells you that she's done the dishes, make sure she didn't just wipe it off with a paper top. Would you ever do that? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> she's honest. I'd probably do it. <laughs> <laughs> you are so cute. All right, how would you like cleanup at your house to be this best? My wife says she really thought the fact that the cookware saves 97% of the nutrients was the thing that she was gonna like most about it. But no kidding, the thing she likes most about it is even when we manage to leave food on it for a long time, it gets crusted on. Cleanware, they are cooking, it's just so easy. That's her number one favorite thing about it. All right, want to taste the vegetables? You ready? Awesome. Let's start with, you were here when we started. So, when we started and we poured the water and it was only touching for five to 10 seconds, how orange did the water turn after just a couple of seconds? Is it darker now? Yeah. And what is that, did we say? Vitamins, minerals, flavor, all the reasons you would make carrots in the first place. In fact, did you have coffee this morning? No, I'm not a coffee. Me neither. But this is how you make coffee. This is how you make tea. You take hot water and you pour it over something. And then this is the part you consume, right? It has the vitamins and minerals and the yummy goodness, the flavor. When we make our carrots, what do we do with this part? Toss it. Do you know of Dr. Mayo of the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota? He said that if our kitchen sinks had a digestive system, they would be the healthiest members of our family for this very reason. Yeah. And then when you make your coffee, what do you do with the grounds? Ketchup. When you make your carrots, what do you do with the uh, grounds with the carrots? Well, you would, but you just took down all the flavor, right? So first you have to do something to put it back in. Yeah, right? Brown sugar. You ever try to make your broccoli taste like egg? Or, uh, cheese? Yeah, yeah. Have a seat. We're about to do a taste test. Side by side. The two, they just came out. What's your name? Kari. Kari and... Sam, I see one bag. You're not both running? No. Okay, yes, they're coming out right now. So then in our pan, we made not just carrots. You ready for this? First of all, this came off the peak, what, seven minutes ago? Touch the top and bottom at the same time. It's still cooking. Careful. I know, yeah. right? Look at it. Oh. This was on the heat for five minutes, off the heat for the last seven. It's still cooking. Oh, he's coming over. He wants six. What's in here? You ready for it? I cooked seven vegetables together all at the same time. How nice is that? 
And I don't care what McDonald's says, this is a Happy Meal. <laughs> now, if you've been making cookware for 110 years, you get a couple of things right. All of our lids, all of our, uh, will protect your pan, your countertops and your tables against the heat of the pan. How cool is that? And if you have a really demanding little girl who says, Mom, I want dinner on the table right now, you can say, you know what, it is on the table right now, served on a silver platter. How cool is that? Awesome. All right, let's see how many vegetables you can fit in a one-quart pan if you don't have to add any water. How nice is that? Yeah? All right, do me a favor. Get yourselves out some pesty. Get two for yourself, two for her, and then Bossy can take two for herself. And we will separate out the corn. Now, this is a science experiment, so what I need you to do is taste one of their carrots first. I know you know what boiled carrots taste like. That's why we use the butter and salt and brown sugar. Are you but what? Are you having um, later. I'll later. Okay. I will take the corn. So taste one of the carrots first. Let's go ahead and take the whole pan. Wait. And then when you're done, pass that over. And... Corn is amazing. There you go. Now try ours. Start with a carrot, though. Start with a carrot and then move on to any other vegetable you'd like to try, or more than one vegetable. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but that's what makes it a science experiment. Get that one out of the way and then go to the good stuff. <laughs> Leslie, just a paper towel so far. Was there a difference in the taste? Yeah? It tastes a lot more carroty, doesn't it? Dad, pass me. Now, Eat as much as you want. We're, not, we're gonna just throw it away when we're done. Oh yeah, take as much as you want. And how would you like cleanup to be that nice? Just a couple of minutes. I know. Alright, would you like some corn on? Corn? Yeah, sure. Now the cool thing about the corn is wait until you're done. The cool thing about the corn is there's no salt and no butter on this. This is how corn is supposed to taste. I love it when it's fresh picked. Okay. Did you happen to try a red pepper? They're juicy enough to be a tomato but they keep all that pop and flavor of it. Now, not only was there a difference in flavor, was there a difference in texture? Were ours still a little crunchier? I think this is as close as you can get to eating raw without eating raw. It reminded me of my Yes, and yet you're like, yay, hey, still. Um, did your carrot taste like anything else? You tried broccoli, did your broccoli taste like carrots? No. Did your carrots taste like uh, broccoli or red cabbage? Yeah. Without the water mixing all the flavors, everything stays distinct. If I had put yeah. red cabbage in this one, what would everything have looked like? Not appetizing. <laughs> now, it is time for Silly Questions with Dan, the portion of the show where Dan comes out and asks some silly questions. Which vegetables tasted better? Thank you. Which vegetables only had to cook for five minutes on the heat and the rest of the time off, saving you a dollar a meal? Yeah. Which vegetables maintain 97% of their nutrients because they never got over 180 degrees? Right? Which vegetables, if you had to choose, would you serve yourself and your family for the rest of your lives? Yeah. It really is a slam dunk. I have one more question. By raise of hands, would you would agree with this statement? If we were to eat this way for the rest of our lives, we might live longer and be healthier while we live longer. Yeah, Austin says yes, Leslie, and yeah. Thank you, it really is a slam dunk. The best news is everybody can afford our cookware. We have a layaway plan that costs less than a Starbucks a day. We have a three pay plan where you get your cookware right away, but you don't have to pay for it right away. You pay one month now and the third next month, and the third the month after that. 
we come to these to see what's around, what's available for our families and our households and get nice things, I guarantee if you walk around this whole place, there's nothing that's healthier for your family and they'll benefit you more than healthy cookware. I know you may have sat down here because it was just a place to sit and you've been walking for a long time. You may have sat down because there's a cooking show and you want to do a cooking show. You may have sat down because you didn't know what else was going on and hey, there's something going on here. But, did you learn something? Yeah? Did you get to laugh at really dumb jokes? <laughs> Do you like sales? Do you like free stuff? Would you like a brochure that tells you the price of our cookware and the free stuff that we're giving away today? Awesome. Here's what I'll do. I will give you one of these and I am going to go over what's on it. The first thing anybody ever asks me is, do you have to buy a complete set? And I will tell you this, you can buy whatever you want. You can buy one piece, you can buy a whole set, everything I have here. But I'm gonna show it to you just like it is on here and that, I'll go over the prices. So the first thing we have is a pen and that explodes if it leaves more than two booths away. The brochure is yours to keep. Underneath the brochure is what we call an opportunity form. This is your opportunity to cook healthy for your family. And then underneath that is a clipboard. And if at any time you need to go, you just leave the clipboard and the opportunity form and the pen on your chair. And you take the brochure and you're good to go. So let's start. Right up at the top you have the breakfast combo. This is the 7 inch saute that I did the egg on. And Leslie, feel this griddle. That is a seven ply griddle. It'll work on your induction cook surfaces. It cooks evenly. It's great for grilled cheese, for pancakes. We do pancakes on our home every Saturday night. We just we abuse this pan. And then next is our kitchen cutter. Did you like the kitchen cutter? Would you use the kitchen cutter? There's a trick to using it. You know what it is? Don't put it away. If you put it in the cabinet underneath, you forget you own it. If you leave it on the, on the countertop, you'll eat a lot more salads and a lot more vegetables, and you'll, your prep time will go down more than half. Would you like one of these for free? Awesome. Your fat catcher and pan handler are called the accessory kit. Now, all of our lids are designed to do this. How nice is that? If you have a rack at home where your cookware is hanging, that will act as a counterbalance, and you'll also never lose your lid. But it also allows you to uh, mess with the food without having to wonder where you're going to put the lid in the meantime. The only problem I see is that any moisture that's accumulated at the top will drip out. And our boss wanted a way for it to drip in. So he came up with a pan handling. Do you like using a slow cooker? Don't do a lot? What's the problem with cooking with a slow cooker? In my mind, it's the, well, first of all, the glass lid, trying to serve yourself with that big glass lid. But no, the cleanup afterwards. Those things are massive and heavy. Yeah, it's a pain. Our designer, I think her name is Doris, came up with a way. This is separate from the base. And it's dishwasher safe. So when that cools down, you just wipe it off. And this you throw in the dishwasher. Now, when you walk into your home and you've been cooking in a slow cooker all day, your whole house smells like whatever it is, right? That's the moisture and the nutrients leaving your food. Now, if I had been cooking a pork loin roast this entire time, this entire room would smell like that, right? So just use your imagination. Pretend that I was cooking a pork loin roast in front of you this entire time. Oh, wow. With onions and potatoes and sweet baby rays. Is that nice? If you stick around till 7, you can come back and watch me eat it. I can't eat a whole three pounds. Okay. I shouldn't eat a whole three pounds. <laughs> you can share with me. Um, that's our gourmet cooker. This is the number one selling product when we do home demos with people and we just find one or two products at a time. People love the gourmet cooker. <clears throat> if you're cooking for one to... How many people do you have at home? Four. Four. I was about to say that number. If you're cooking between one and four, this is the perfect set for you. It's called our classic set. It's the one pot court that I did the vegetables in. This is called our freedom skillet. We do a meat demonstration. Did I tell you this during the show? We, do, we didn't do it this show, but we do do a meat demonstration where we take a frozen chicken breast and 15 minutes later serve it. Because this pan, once it's preheated about uh, five minutes, you can put a frozen chicken breast, cut a potato in half, put it on either side, 15 minutes later, you're serving it to the public. If you put that cut, uh, baked put the cut potato cut side up, it turns into a baked potato. If you put it cut side down, it turns into a fried potato. How long does it take to make a baked potato at home? 
An hour. Or more. Yeah. And, or in the microwave when you lose all nutritional value for three minutes. But we don't want to do that. We want to get away from the microwave altogether. So take your hour long time, take it into 15 minutes. This is what we call the budget buster. You get home and you've forgotten to take anything out of the freezer to defrost all day. Or you have a 90 pound dog and you eat it. Um, 75 pound, what do you have? Yeah, there's a great Pyrenees Bernie's Mountain Dog mix, and every once in a while it's just gone. But now we, that we have this pan, my wife keeps a big bag of frozen chicken breasts in the deep freeze. And if we walk in and there's nothing, it used to be McDonald's, Chinese, Papa John's, it was the budget buster for getting to take something out. And now it's just, honey, go get daddy a bag of chicken breasts. Dan, go do your demo. And I go into the kit now. I have as many kids as I do, I can't just use that pan, I use this one. You can do 10 chicken breasts in this at one time. They don't all have to be touching the bottom because of the way these pans work. So they can all be standing on top of each other. 15 minutes later, I can serve my whole family dinner. And while that's cooking, I do the vegetables. It's really nice. So the classic set, oh, and then we get to the saute pan. This is going to do your omelets, your uh, stir fries. Do you make any sauces for yourself, still? Okay, so if you don't, then you probably don't need a double boil. Yeah, you don't need a double boiler. So what we did is we made this serve two purposes. If you put this upside down, now it's going to turn your three-quart pot into a five-quart roaster right on top of your stove. Why heat up this much oven for this much meat? And as the picture shows, you can do 10 years of corn in 10 minutes. That's a nice, versatile little pan. Now your next set is the family set. That's exactly the same thing, but twice the size. Your one quart turns into two, your three quart turns into six, and everything else doubles in capacity, not necessarily size. And then the deluxe is both of those combined. If you go down to the works, this is the best value over here. You get all of these here. You also get our 12 quart and our eight quart. You get our bakeware, which includes the world's, I think, only five ply cookie sheet. How awesome is that? I know. It cooks evenly. You're never going to have a raw cookie on one side and a burnt one on the other. And you're never going to warp that pan. It's going to stay flat the entire time you own it. Comes with a wok, two cake pans, a, a pie pan. It comes with me. That's the best part. When your cookware gets delivered to your house in a week or two, I show up and I show you how to use it. And I stay for two weeks. I do toilets, I do laundry, I do windows. You get two cents, I'll stay a month. <laughs> All right, let's go over the cost of quality American cookware. Have you ever priced quality American cookware? No. Have you ever priced like the high-end stuff at Williams Sonoma, all that? We're right in line with them. Each pan is going to cost between two and four hundred dollars. Each set is going to cost between two and five thousand dollars. So if you start up at the top, I'm going to give you two prices. The first one's the full retail price that you find if you went online, and the second price is going to be the retail. I'm sorry, the, the wholesale price that you get today. So right at the top have a breakfast combo and that retails for $3.95. Today it's on sale for less than a digital camera, just $295. Isn't that nice? It's $100 off, 25% off, factory direct. And then your kitchen cutter, this is the only thing we don't make, but we did make sure that we're getting one that's American made. And that retails for $3.80. Today it's on sale for less than two months cell phone bill, $279, one month if you have Verizon. And I don't know why everybody giggles at that one. I love it. Um, it's just the truth. Uh, I will give them this. When nobody else can make a phone call, you can still get your, yeah, your phone call. Your, your accessory kit normally costs $99. Today it's $79. Did you like the gourmet cooker? The idea? Make it all in the morning when you still have energy. Work all day. Come home tired. Don't have to cook. It's ready for you. This retails for $600 when we do the home shows. Today it's on sale for less than your Vitamix blender. $4.49, and you'll use that a lot. Now, if you're cooking for one to four, this is your classic set. Your classic set starts at $2,100 retail. Today it's on sale for less than an ambulance ride to St. Mary's, $17.95. <laughs> your family set, twice the size, not twice the price. That one retails for $2,400. Today it's on sale, I'm sorry, $2,495. Today it's on sale for less than one night stay. At St. Mary's, twenty-one ninety-five. How nice is that? Yeah. Now, why do I keep re referencing St. Mary's? Because if you keep the vitamins and minerals <laughs> and don't have to try to replace them over here, 
you don't have to go to St. Mary's, right? Mm -hmm. So if you were to add these two sale prices together, Austin wants more. If you were to add these two sale prices, and the kids are coming back for more vegetables, please notice this, folks. Um, those two prices added together would be $4,000 at full sale price. But our boss says if you're going to buy more, you're going to save more. So if you want to get both of them at the same time, you're going to save another $700. And today that's going to be less than a hot tub you're only going to use twice a month anyway. $32.95. And last but not least, the work set, the one that comes with me, is going to start at $5,800. Today it's on sale for less than the average family of four spends eating out all year long, $49.95. Hey guys, take a deep breath. You just survived the price of quality American cookware. Nobody passed out. Awesome. Now the best part is, anybody can afford our cookware. We have a layaway plan that costs less than startups today. We have a uh, repay plan. The layaway plan is interest free, it's six or 10 to 12 months but you don't get your cookware until you're done paying for it. The three pays really cool. You pay a third now, a third next month, and the third month after that, but you get your cookware next week. How'd you like that? Yeah. Or we take cash or checks or credit cards. We take routing children. Oh, she found the Elite set. What's what she point out, the fondue? Yeah, there's an Elite set on the back. It's everything we make. It's a stop. Yep, she pointed out the fondue. My cousins found it fondue, they love it. This one retails for $7,200. Today it's on sale for $1,000 off, $61.95. It's everything we make. How nice is that? Nice. $6,195. Yep. Awesome. We come to these shows to get nice stuff for our families, for our houses. I guarantee you, if you walk this entire floor, the healthiest thing you can do for your family is healthy waterless cookware. So, what I want to do for you next, I'm not Santa Claus, but if you imagine I would, close your eyes. Say, okay, out of all of these sets, which one would work best for our family? Go ahead and circle whichever one that is, and then know this, I am going to, or KitchenCraft is going to give you, with any set, the kitchen cutter for free. So what you do, is you go to the opportunity form and you check off kitchen cutter right there and you write the four letter magic word what is that magic word anna free so you check off kitchen cutter and you write free and you get to keep that with any set classic family works deluxe elite now would you make more salads and would you your prep time go down if you have this awesome now, this isn't where we're gonna end. Our business has been really, really good lately. We've actually broken quite a few records this year. Why do you think we're breaking records this year? Are you a little more health conscious this year than you were last year? Turns out a lot of Americans, a lot of people are eating in a lot more than they were last year. People are trying to eat at home more. They're going to a lot more farmer's markets and getting better produce too. So if you're eating home more and you want to have more, we decided we were going to give away more. So, if you get the classic set family blocks of works, we're going to give you the kitchen cutter. We're also going to give you the gourmet cooker. You have over $700 in free gifts. The roast does not come with it. You have to be yourself. You have a pretty smile. All right, so to get the gourmet cooker, you check out one of these boxes that doesn't have it, because this is for me. So you write a G and a C for gourmet cooker, and you write gift. And I have to initial that for you to have that. When you do a slow cooker meal, do you like to have leftovers? Yeah? So if the four quart's not big enough for you, I got a really neat surprise. It's not even on there. We only started making it last year. We managed to make a six quart gourmet cooker that fits on the four quart base. So if you want to cook a lot of food and have leftovers, or if you just have family come over and you want something big that can feed a small army, you can get the six quart instead of the four quart. And the way you do that is after you write GC, you also write with six QT. And then you get the six quart instead of the four quart. How's that? Say thank you, Dan. I'll wave, I won't say thank you, Dan. 
All right, in the upper left-hand corner, in the upper right-hand corner, the date today, 10... 11, 11. 11, 11? Yep. 11, 11. And then my name is Dan, right there. Now, if you'll notice, there's a box up here that says, what impressed you most about Pitching Craft? I want to do something special for this show. It's my last show of the night. So, it's going to have to close. Is it close to seven? I have no idea. It won't let me know. Um, okay. Shipping. So right here it says, what impressed you most about Kitchen Craft? If you check healthier because the healthy food, 97% of the nutrients remain in your food, that's fine. It's not one and nothing else. If the warranty is what impressed you most, go ahead and check that. Cooking in half the time or saving a dollar a meal. The flavor. Do you like how, did you like the vegetables? Yeah. They're nice. Uh, or the fact that 9,000 Americans have jobs because our cookware is all made in America from the floor all the way to the door. But if you check this one right here, it says the chef. Maybe underline it. Little star. And tell my boss that I did a good job. If you check off the chef, then I will throw in the egg pan. The green, we call this the green pan because oh my you're not you're glowing. throwing away. $700 worth of gifts just turned into a little over $1,000 worth of free gifts. Just for buying what's going to benefit you anyway. How nice is that? You like that? Okay. So if you have a uh, shipping address that is different than where your credit card goes, then you have to have two addresses here. If they're the same, just write same. When they come to your house, it's going to come in a really, really, really big box. Don't make your mom lift that by herself. <laughs> If you have a dad or a brother that's going to lift it in there for you, have them do it. If not, cut it open. All the different pans come in their own boxes. Take them in one at a time, okay? But don't throw away the box until you find two cookbooks and a DVD. It's going to come with two cookbooks. Cooking on our cooker is a little different. You have to get used to it. But your food comes out healthier, and you're going to have this cooker for a long time. So our website also has a ton of recipes on it. It actually opens up. Our website's just been redesigned. When you first get to our website, it has a couple hundred testimonials from people who've had our cookware for a long time and done things like taking points off their cholesterol, lost weight. A woman got her pilot's license back because of our cookware. Very strange, but she had too much heavy metal in her blood and she lost her pilot's license. And when she did that, she heard about our cookware. It wasn't something that we were putting out there, but she thought, if this stuff pertains to vitamins and minerals, and I'm not cooking on aluminum or cast iron, and she took a shot, and she came back to the Oshkosh Air Show the next year with her pilot's license renewed, and she said, I just want to let you know, your cookware got me my, my license back. I thought that was a cool story. Um, so yeah, go ahead and put in the ship to it, and uh, now, would you guys want to use a, a, a layaway or a prepay? He's not here. Where are you guys from? Oh, good. So he's local. I'm going to be here tomorrow. Tomorrow is from 9 to 4. I don't know. My, 11 to 6. 11 to 6. Um, my wife's not, might be, or, or Noelle might be. She's trying to, she's trying to, uh, camping. Did you turn it off? Turn what off? Did you stop recording? Oh, 